Einstein was right, and you are cruising through a wormhole in a spaceship. That would definitely be the cruise of a lifetime, because it would open you up to the thrills of the universe. The most obvious being the ability to connect two parts of the universe in the shortest possible time. But this is nothing compared to the jaw-dropping experience of exploring the multiverse and even traveling back in time. As exciting as this trip sounds, traveling through a wormhole is not for the faint-hearted because things could easily go wrong. Do you want to know everything that could happen on such a trip? Well, today, we will uncover things that can turn the exciting journey into a terrifying nightmare. A trip through a wormhole is filled with unknowns. Some aspects of the journey are stuck in the realm of speculation. It's because most of what we know about wormholes is theoretical. The early models of wormholes are essentially microscopic and cannot support space travel. But let's say we have a wormhole big enough to support interstellar travel. What would a trip through one look like? The first challenge facing a trip through a wormhole is its instability. Wormholes are catastrophically unstable. All it would take is a single photon of light, and the beautiful space tunnel would come crumbling down faster than the speed of light. So, for now, a trip through a wormhole remains a Hollywood fantasy as the galactical tunnel cannot even handle a photon of light. But will this dash the hopes of future wormhole trips? From what we know, we can stabilize a wormhole. Sounds great, right? You see, wormholes are essentially two black holes connected by a long winding tunnel. Thus, they are disproportionate seas of positive energy or mass because wormholes have so much positive mass which is why they are so unstable. Suppose we apply a basic understanding of science to stabilize a wormhole, which, as we've seen, is a massive sea of positive energy. In that case, you only need to provide an equal amount of negative energy or mass to balance it. Of course, on paper, this sounds straightforward enough. However, this is the point where it starts to fall apart. Negative energy or mass is a real thing. But the problem is that scientists have been chasing wildly for decades, trying to generate enough negative mass to keep the wormhole from collapsing. And so far, well, the results haven't been too great. This doesn't mean we should all give up hope of traveling through a wormhole. Scientists have definitely not given up trying to generate enough negative mass. So a trip through a wormhole might still be possible. We just aren't sure how far or close said future might be. But let's leave the future for a moment and focus on wormhole travel in the present. This trip would likely end with the wormhole collapsing and trapping you in space-time in an unknown and unreachable part of the universe. Or maybe even in another universe? But let's even say the wormhole doesn't collapse around you, and there's still another way. Interestingly, wormholes are like shortcuts. You can use them to zip through large sections of the universe and even into the distant future. It can link you to a star that's a million light years away in a matter of seconds. But be careful now, because that's where the problem lies. Time doesn't remain constant. Since your age doesn't freeze in a wormhole, the wormhole becomes a faster way to your older self. For context, one light year in space equals one natural year in our regular Gregorian calendar. So imagine taking a trip to a star that's a million light years away. That translates to adding one million years to your age in seconds. Now, even if you make it through a wormhole, you will not reach the end because you will die before reaching the other end. Once you approach a wormhole, a considerable dose of cosmic rays will hit you instantly. These radiations are so powerful that they can pierce the hull of your spacecraft and fry the electronic system. And even if, by chance, your spacecraft survives the first onslaught of radiation, you're still not out of the water. You see, wormholes can lead to different parts of the universe. So, the part of the universe that transports you determines the radiation you are up against. Let's say the mouth of the wormhole opens up to a large celestial body, or an active galactic nucleus. That's likely game over for your wormhole trip because these two could release intense radiation fields that can decimate everything on their path, including you and your spacecraft. The next thing that could go wrong involves what is needed to make the journey possible. 
a wormhole needs a hefty dose of exotic matter to stay stable. And while this negative energy density makes your trip through a wormhole possible, it brings up many obstacles. That's because the exotic matter introduces another layer of radiation-related risks. Now, to put all the cards on the table, there are no documented risks of exposing a spaceship to exotic matter. But that doesn't mean you're in the clear because you can't tell the outcome when encountering exotic matter in space. Ultimately, a trip through a wormhole is highly speculative. At least right now, it is more theoretical than practical. No one can say how a wormhole trip will go, like every other journey through space. But who knows? Maybe we will get answers in the future and then we can zap through the space-time continuum.